All right, fans, Brady Labor, CincinnatiSteam.com. You're looking at Marshall Gee. We're here in Newark, Ohio at Don Edwards Park after a big 6-3 to three win for the Cincinnati Steam Marshall. You had two of the biggest moments of the night. Um, it started with the steam down 3-2. to two. I think it was runners on the corners. You came to the plate, and you laid down what looked like a safety squeeze mm -hmm. bunt to score a run, man. Just tell me about the situation, what's going through your head. Um, honestly, in that uh, at bat, so like before I even got up there, I mean – who was it, Cates? He was doing a good job getting around the bases. Uh, I'm pretty sure he walked, and then he found his way to third on two pass balls. Um, so he set that up, and then uh, who's after him? It was uh, – uh, Yeah, Bruce. Yeah, yeah, Johnny. Yeah, so he um, he saw four straight, and I was just sitting there like, you know, this guy's he's probably just going to try and groove one. So it's probably just going to be easy, you know, just take the RBI, try to tie the game up, and then – you know, see what we can do from there. So I was just fortunate enough to get something to lay down, and uh, Kane did a good job of scoring, and so we just executed right there. That's an approach most people do in the spring, man, but in the summer, you know, you're allowed to be a little more selfish than that, but you instead sacrificed your at-bat to get the run in and make sure it got in, man. Talk about that approach, man. Um, honestly, I mean, that's just how I play. Um, I don't know. Some guys are probably just going to try and swing it. But for me, you know, I'm just going to try and, you know, get a quab or something, try to help my team out and just especially, you know, just bring that run in for the most part. Like, because uh, especially in that situation, you know, you're just trying to stay out of a double play for the most part. Um, so, yeah, I haven't seen anything from that guy. So I know I can do it with a bun at least. Right. Next half inning on defense, they get the go ahead run on first. They bring in a pinch runner who leads them in stolen bases. And they're trying to sacrifice him over. He goes to steal, and you gun him down from here to there, man. Just uh, talk about the, the the long arm of the wall there. Um. So yeah, I mean, like that's just a big situation right there as far as uh, just trying to move a guy over. So obviously, you know, they're just gonna try and put pressure on our pitcher Pennington. But um, we just stay with the fastball right there because I mean, he gets a pretty good high spin and whatnot. So hopefully, you know, maybe like the bunner will just pop it up or something. So you know, he left it out. Guy pulled back, and then. Kind of just threw it down a second, just got him. So, you know, it was a big moment. I'm glad, you know, I could have done that for my team. So, And, of course, that momentum led to the Griffin Bernardo base yeah. hit. Six to three is the final score. We got to get in the vans, get back home, because we're back here tomorrow night. Oh, yeah. Congratulations. It's a little things, Marshall Gee, and we'll uh, try to make them big things tomorrow.